Jersey Sports Zone's Baseball State Tournament coverage is brought to you by RWJ Barnabas Health. The state baseball playoffs are underway. Paul the Six comes to the shore. It's the Eagles at CBA on an excessively hot day in Lincroft. Bottom of the first, the Colts get going early. Hunter Del Gercio with a base hit up the middle. That's an RBI single as CBA jumps out to a 1-0 lead. Paul the Sixth was looking to draw even in the top of the second. John Orsby with a base hit to right. Del Gercio quickly gets the throw in and CBA gets the runner off of third base. A big out right there keeps it a 1-0 Colts lead. The Eagles had another issue at third and this one's controversial. Ormsby pops it up in the infield. Harrison Campy makes the play. He quickly fires a third and out is the call. CBA nabs a second runner 90 feet away from scoring and there's no doubt that Paul the Six disagrees with the call. We zoom in and slow it down. You make the call. It appears that Mike Lucarelli gets his left hand on the bag before the tag. That's a tough break for Paul the Six. It stays 1-0 as we head to the bottom of the fourth. Bottom four, Wyatt Hunt with a base hit to right. Tyler Phillips comes up gunning from right field and this throw is on the money. Zane Tonski is out at the plate. That's an awesome throw by Phillips. Scored a 9-2 put out. It remains 1-0 CBA through four innings. Colt starter Colin Riley was fantastic. Here's one of his six strikeouts. Through five innings, Riley is keeping Paul the Six off the scoreboard. Bottom five, the Colts get one more. Alexi Stout to shallow left. This is an RBI single. CBA expands their lead. We've got a 2-0 game through five innings. The Eagles break through in the sixth. Base is loaded for Ormsby. He smacks a base hit to left, and Paul the Six is on the board. We've got a 2-1 game, and the bases are still loaded. Wild play here. Paul the Six trying the squeeze. They can't get the bunt down, but Lucarelli steals home. Paul the Six ties the game at two. They're all fired up. CBA coach Marty Kenny Jr. has a lengthy discussion. Perhaps thinking there was batter interference? Well, let's take a look. Lucarelli comes flying in with a cloud of dust. Tremendous hustle ties this ball game. Riley leaves after six innings. One of the two runs he gives up was unearned. Bottom six, Zane Tonski leading off. And how's this for a tone setter? A high fly to left and it's gone. A solo homer for Zane Tonski. The junior committed to St. John's, gives CBA a 3-2 lead. And now the Colts are three outs away from moving on in the state playoffs. Paul the Six rallies in the seventh. Mike Kelly on in relief. Sasha Palma to right. That's a fair ball. Palma's got a double, and the Eagles have second and third with nobody out. A base hit could give Paul the Six the lead. Nick Nigro hits a hard liner right at the second baseman. Stout makes the catch and flips to second for a huge double play. Just like that, two outs, but Paul the Six still has the tying run at third. Mike Kelly gets the strikeout to end it, and CBA survives and advances through to the next round. Three to two is your final. CBA will face rival Red Bank Catholic this Friday in the non-public A South quarterfinals. The Colts were able to make some key plays in the field, and Zane Tonski's blast was the difference in the postseason win. Uh, I knew I had to come up big. I just was trying to put the bat on the ball, get on base, get a rally going. I uh, wasn't trying to do anything too much, just trying to get on base for my team. We got RBC on Friday now, I think. It's going to be a big game. Uh, got to get revenge on them for last time. Uh, it's exciting. In Lincroft, I'm Rich Crampanis for JerseySportsZone.com.